Today I'm going to attempt to photograph some jumping squirrels. I'm here in Cumbria still and I've come across this area where there's a small red squirrel population. The person who lives right up the street here, he feeds the squirrels just across uh, from his house along these pine trees, the Scots pine trees that you see behind me. So every morning they come from the small forest behind me there's also another small forest just down here and another one on the other side of this woodland corridor. Every morning they come up here to feed. I've been up here taking photos for a day and just walking around trying loads of different compositions, loads of different angles to shoot from. I've even been on the other side of the wall and I've had a hide up. I made a video on that on the Tragopan channel where I used one of their hides so you can check that out in the link above. I've noticed that every so often when the squirrels have fed they come back along this wall behind me here and you can see that sometimes they jump from rock to rock so the idea for today is to basically get a jumping red squirrel image kind of like you see what they get in you know paid hides and those kind of setup situations where they have it you know ideally set up in this situation though we don't have it ideally set up but they are I know they're feeding around here and I know every now and then they'll use this wall to run down it. So it's all about getting a position, sitting and waiting and hope for the best. So I'm going to get my gear out and we'll see how this goes. So what I'm starting to notice here is that squirrels are using the wall down there more. They actually run across this small section of the wall on that side and then they come across to this side and run past behind me. I'm going to go down, take everything and set up down by that wall because I think I'll have a better chance of capturing them there. So as maybe you can see here, I got more clothes on. It's actually two days after I started this video and I had to run away for an errand uh, last time. So it's two days on and it's a lot colder. It's about minus four degrees here and I am packed up with muck boots, fat suit, everything on so I'm quite comfortable here. And we got the nice low angle winter sun hitting on our wall over there. We also we also have a bit of snow, so hey, I'm not complaining about that, that'll look quite cool in the composition. I got my lunch with me, I got some coffee with me, prepared to stay here for a while and uh, get, get the kind of shots that I really want. <laughs> It's just amazing how fast it happens. Squirrel just came across the road here, straight up on the wall, ran down it, and I managed to take a burst of shot as it ran past. Have a look. I'm super happy with that. That's, I mean, I've only been here for 15 minutes and already I got some really cool shots of a squirrel running down that wall. Um, and I'm shooting now in full manual. And as you can see on there, it's a little bit of blinkies. That's basically the highlights. I'm losing a little bit of detail in the snow, but that's, that's totally fine. I mean, I'm shooting in raw, so that detail can be brought back in post and I'd rather have the correct exposure on the squirrel. So what I'm using here is the Canon 100 to 400 f, um, what is it, it's 4.5 to 5.6. Uh, and I absolutely love this lens. I've only had it for about two months now. It's so versatile, and really sharp. It's got, it's, I'm just absolutely loving it. It probably hasn't left uh, my camera body since I got it. 
Um, so what, since I'm quite close to this wall and I need a little bit of space uh, to actually uh, capture the whole squirrel and a little bit of the environment as well, I zoom back to about 300 millimeters and that allows me to get an f-stop of 5. Uh, I'm shooting in manual mode so I've gone for a shutter speed of 1250th of a second and as you can see here on the shots that I get got just now that is the squirrel is sharp at that point even at running at full speed across that wall uh, and for that I need an ISO 640 with the conditions that I hear so I'm going to continue with that and hopefully I'll get them on the way back up as well because then they won't be carrying one of these uh, peanuts in their mouths. It's kind of cool but it's also kind of artificial to have that because then you, you can definitely tell that it's been feeding from a feeding station. So it'll be quite cool to get some shots coming back up the way without any nuts. So let's try for that next. That was incredible. I've gotten a good few of the shots that I came here to get now. I've had the red squirrel run across the wall a few times and I managed to get, sometimes I miss, it's quite hard because it's really fast. Uh, but I've got a few of the shots that I really came for, that I really wanted. So now, I'm gonna try and experiment a little bit because as you can see here, I've been sitting here in this one position the whole time and just getting the same kind of shot and I'm happy with what I have so now it's time to experiment a little bit I'm gonna get my camera off my tripod uh, I might move in a little bit closer and try and get a little bit lower to see if I can shoot a little bit more up I've been here for a couple hours now and my hands are freezing <laughs> it's quite cold so uh, it'll be good to move around a little bit and get a little bit warmth back in my body uh, so yeah, let's do that for a while, see what we can come up with, and then maybe call it a day soon. I think that is going to be enough for today. Um, my fingers are really cold and I'm very happy with what I got today. That's been it for this episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching this and uh, please hit like if you enjoyed this and do subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I come out with a new episode. And I'll see you in the next video.